have a beautiful, beautiful show. Have music from by Malcolm Allison, who is a lovely, lovely um, keyboard player. We have guest Alan Walden, who is a transplant from somewhere. And he's going to be on, and he's going to tell us what brought him to Mount Shasta. We have Susan Isabel, who is also a transplant, and she's going to tell us her story and her vision also. And then we have Ink on Paper from COS. They'll be showing some of their artwork. Hey, are you glad that the sun is out? I am so happy with that. I tell you, I am just tired of shoveling. Now let the sun melt it away. Here comes that water. Hey, also, I got some real interesting videos that we're going to show today. They're just little snippets of things that I've done. In fact, I think I'm ready to show the first one. Uh, this is a little uh, clip that I've just finished called Limos in the Night. guest here he snuck in over here Alan what is your official I'm a doctor of chiropractic for 28 years and I'm semi-retired semi-retired and where where uh, where were you living prior to here in San Francisco San Francisco born and raised. so what what brought you to, to Mount Shasta well I've been looking for land for a long time uh, outside the city, and I always felt uh, the energy around Mount Shasta. And a year ago, when I came up, uh, I realized I had to be here at least 50% of the time. There you go. And now you have a vision here. Uh, the vision started coming a year ago, and um, now I just, I just have to go with it. And I saw the first vision was I saw a huge gathering, almost like a Woodstock type of gathering. All right. With, a, with the multitudes coming for the ascension. And that's how I saw it in my mind's eye. And just thought about it and told a few people about it. And I started doing uh, some drawings at that time and not really planning on doing the event. 
and then it started taking a life of its own over the months. Well, what's the ascension? Give us a little information about that. Well, to me, what the ascension is, is basically people ascending into their heart, making a heart connection, and it's through service to others that I feel that we will ascend. It's not just uh, going to a place, it's basically going and finding a soul connection within your being and a purpose, a higher purpose. And again, it's through service. And I had seen in my mind's eye where a number of us gathering together and assisting one another in that transition. There you go, there you go. Now, you said you saw a gathering. Was that the 8808 that I've heard you talk a little bit about? Well, the 8808 came a number of months later where I, again, I started doing a few drawings. I first saw the mountain and I saw it in a chalice. And, and then I, uh, when I had the vision, was gathering of the tribes ascending together in Mount Shasta. All right, there we go. And just, again, did a rough drawing and showed a few people. And it was a good conversation piece. But then, as life has it, we are, we are on a, a journey, I believe, uh, to a higher level. Right. And a higher connection with each other. And that is where this is uh, manifesting. That's where this is going. And I am now just witnessing um, my my own evolution in this. Okay, okay. Hey, you said something about some artwork. Show me some of this beautiful stuff. I just loved seeing it the other day. So the, the heart of the mountain actually came first. And uh, I'm up on Mount Shasta. I was actually staying at a home very close to uh, where the houses stop on Everett Memorial, looking at the mountain every day, and started realizing that, that there was more going on, that there was a higher calling for me. Right. And, and so then other drawings started manifesting. Um, where this one here is called Soul. And that, again, I, I started feeling um, different ideas, different thoughts. I was growing with on a different level within myself. And I did this one here, which was called a, a Sacred Vessel. And I did this drawing, I actually printed this, and then a friend said, oh, that looks like an ET. And I thought, oh. I didn't even have that in mind. Right. But, and then the one on the lower right is a drawing that, that followed this one. This one was done for a friend to, for the cover of her book. And this one is on the cover of, of one of uh, Aurelia Louise Jones's book. Ooh. And then the drawings down the center are drawings I did 35 years ago when I was uh, in chiropractic college. Wow, that is really good. I love the detail that you have in those. They're really beautiful. Thank you. You have something else to show us? Sure. Wow. So these drawings cool. followed. Uh, again, sometimes I feel that the spirit or the angels are waking me up in the middle of the night and I have an idea and I just start drawing. And so this one, and then this was following. This is on the cover of another book. Wow. A friend, and then the Holy, Holy Grail of Mount Shasta. The Holy Grail of Mount Shasta. Move your shadow just a little bit so they can get that in there a little bit. Wow, isn't that gorgeous? Now, how can people get a hold of you if they want something on their book? Well, I have uh, a website, shastaart.com. And so I'm, I'm now working on having that all available for whoever would like to. And there's a lot more artwork besides what I'm showing here. Wow, That's do you on. have another, another one you want to show one us? One more panel. Wow. And these are the latest works. 
And so this is uh, angel leaf. And I saw, I stopped wearing my contacts a, a little over a year ago. And so I really can't focus that well, but I'm looking at the mountain in the middle of the night. And here we can see the heart of the mountain. And basically I saw the heart beating. And so I started doing a drawing about that. And, and then I left it. I let it go because it wasn't, I wasn't feeling it. And then a few months ago, it really came through strong. And so then I did a sacred geometry and this is the last drawing I did. Wow, this is gorgeous. Well, come back over here and sit down. Uh, very thank you for that. That uh, beautiful stuff. So, Alan, is there anything you want to tell the people about uh, anything right now? You got something on your mind? Uh, I do. I, I feel that, that I really have been growing a lot recently and I'm going deeper within myself and finding the source of my being, so to speak. I'm feeling more joyful and just a real heart connection within myself and, and just feeling love that I feel that what I am trying to do with the gathering is basically get people connected and get people uh, to feel more empowered, especially now. People aren't... Uh, there's so much fear. Everything is, is fear has crippled us. Yeah. And and so if I could say something or or draw something or, or make a difference for one person to maybe get their power back, to walk away from a job that they're not happy with, to walk away from a relationship that isn't working that's abusive, to get into their power, to realize that they are divine essence. And we are all divine essence. And I believe that that is what's real, what's true. Love and joy is our divine birthright. If I can convey or say something that someone can move into that, and again, the gathering is to enhance that feeling of celebration of life. And then also the auspicious times of 8808, 999, 101010. There'll be other places for these gatherings, possibly Hawaii, Sedona, maybe South America. And then 11, 11, 11, and then 12, 12 to 21, 12. Again, the Mayan calendar, it's almost like a countdown, maybe a countdown to that we're all moving into a higher level of consciousness. We're all moving into more love and service and, and really connecting to who we really are, not who we've been told we are, who we really are. Who we really are. And that is home. That's home in our heart. And so, again, this is heart-based. This is going to be a nonprofit so that all of the proceeds will go to charity, both wherever it's held, if it's held here in Weed, uh, if, if the, the city council, uh, which I'm now approaching, will uh, sponsor this, half the money will go to them, and half the money will go to charities uh, in Africa and around the world that I've been embracing. Very and good, so, very good. Well, you know what? We will just have everybody give a good prayer that uh, it'll happen. Great. And that's my part. And with city council, we're serious. We want to have a gathering here. Anybody that's there, listen to this man because he's going to put it together. All right? Thank you, Alan. Thank you. Appreciate you being here. Appreciate All right. All right, our next little thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to try to get that video on of limos. Can we put that on? <laughs> hey. People. Did you count how many balloons there were? 84. Oh, not 84. 51. 51. Uh, limo's not working. Oh. Maypole, if you want it. Maypole is great. We'll do Maypole then. Thank you all. Hey, a couple last last year, 2007, I did this little Maypole. Can you turn wow. up the volume? Let me tell you. It, it, well, maybe I can't tell you. It just all of a sudden happened, and uh, I woke up maybe. Was it a dream? 
I don't know. But I know. Come with me, and I'll show you. Yeah, I can show you what happened. You see, it was a stormy and stormy day. Rain was falling. It was more like a drizzle, maybe. And no wind. It was kind of warm. and uh, It was damp, though. Kind of uh, mystical. Yeah. It was mystical. All of a sudden, I came upon this, this place. I don't know where it was, but it looked so familiar to me. <gasps> I felt it was like home. Or maybe it was home. I still think it was a dream. I just don't know. I just was so beautiful. All the people from the community came together. They did, man. Everybody. It must have been real. Because it was people that I knew, yeah? The community. A celebration of spring, they said, yeah. It was so beautiful, yes. Everybody brought flowers. If you would have been there, you'd been touched too. <gasps> but I'll show you. We'll go back and see it. Let me say, I remember this pole. And people were going around it and around it and around it and this way and that way and <gasps> I'll show you what it looks like now. Oh, maybe I can show you what happened before, but it was so great. It was so great. It's a weave. <gasps> An intertwining of everybody in the community. Yes, it was. Oh, what a dance, I say. What a dance. It was beautiful. <gasps> Come with me and I'll show you. Beautiful place where they had it all together. <gasps> this is little fires. They had food. <sighs> and then... The fairies came out and frolicked in the field! Oh, oh, that was so cute! Oh, the music was playing, and we were all by the fire. And then the fairies came out, and they chased everybody and chased each other. And, oh, it was so cute! Never seen fairies frolic in the field, but if you try to say it too many times, you'll spill! <laughs> anyway. They went round and round and round. Oh. Intertwined. And when they came out, they would so come back together. Yeah. So come back together. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Let me say. I go show you. Yes, come, 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 come. I'll show you it at all. It's so beautiful. It's right. It's right over there. It's right over there, right behind me, yeah? Can you see behind me? <gasps> there it is. 
Oh, come, 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 come. Let's go and see it now. I want to show you. Oh, you love it. Oh, it's beautiful. Come, 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 come. Come, come, come. Come, come. Oh, come, 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 come. come, come, come. Hey everybody, how are you doing? That was the Maypole of 2007, done here in Mount Shasta. Uh, that was just a little intro that I did. The actual uh, filming of the Maypole party is about uh, 20 minutes long, and if you want to order that, you may just call the studio here and we'll set something up for you. Hey, I got a wonderful lady here. Her name is Susan Isabella. Isabella? Isabel. Isabel. Mm -hmm. How are you doing? I'm doing wonderful. Great. Where did you come from? Well, I, I am a relocation from um, Manchester, New Hampshire. Wow. Where, yeah, I had one of the largest metaphysical centers on the Northeast and in 2004 came to Mount Shasta. Wow. So what brought you here? I mean, I mean did you have this uh, 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 vision? Uh, well, Some um, little chatter in your ear? A little chatter in the ears, uh, putting it mildly. <laughs> um, the center was established and doing very well in Manchester, and in the middle of the night, and this is the truth, in the middle of the night I heard, go to Shasta, don't return. And I sat up in bed and I said, I have to be dreaming. This is going to be a dream. <laughs> because everything was so, so perfect. Right. And I said again, go to Shasta, don't return. So um, I came here to Mount Shasta to establish a Shambhala Center here. Okay. Um, and currently we're located in Weed in the Mercantile. In the Mercantile, okay. And we have a store there and we have healing rooms. And what we're doing there now is uh, training people in um, health alternatives and spiritual growth um, and counseling. Great, great. Yeah. And the other part of my coming here was to bring to Mount Shasta a very special gift from the Mayan people. Ooh. Um, part of my travels and uh, being across the world uh, brought me into the country of Belize, the place of the pyramids. Okay. And while I was there, and it's in my first book, and this is On Assignment with Adama. Ah. Uh, the whole story is told is in that, here. So we can... can you see that? Okay. Okay. Hold still. Hold still. Okay. Um, on assignment with the Dhamma. Uh, this was the second place that I was sent to. Mm -hmm. And while I was on the way um, there and through the country of Belize, a Mayan shaman brought me the first crystal skull. Whoa. Mm -hmm. uh, there are 13 skulls of the Maya that are said to be programmed with the divine template of all of creation. And there are 13 keepers of these skulls throughout the world. And I am one of them. Well, but I am nice to meet you. <laughs> That's exciting to me. Yeah. And this has been an incredible journey. And in 2004, the second half of the skull that I received was uh, given to me also from Central America. So that now I had two pieces of what I never even knew there were two pieces. Wow. Um, but actually, I am keeper of the heart. The heart. The heart. It's one heart, one mind for humanity. And I was told to bring it here to Mount Shasta. Because we have a heart right there on the mountain. We do. And also, this is the seventh sacred mountain in the world. And it is, it's time. Mount Shasta's time is now. Wow. So um, I have brought the heart here. The energies are transferable, and uh, each of the two halves, one is masculine, one is feminine. The two halves have a complete brain. They will grow in size, they will change color, and the energy can be put into other crystals. My at our, goodness. Yeah, at our shop in, uh, in Weed, this is just one of, the, somebody... one of the type of skulls that we have. Yeah, this is just one. We have many. And what is this... Uh... Um, stone. This is fluorite. Fluorite. This comes from Shanghai, China. We have uh, skulls that are from Tibet. 
the the legend of the skulls go all the way across the world. Mm -hmm. um, in every culture, they have honored this, not as death, but as the, this is where we store our brain, exactly. our knowledge. Exactly. And in the divine templates, this is transferred into crystal. That's why um, Itznama, son of the divine couple, God above all gods, according to the Maya, programmed or put these energies into these 13 skulls. And so what's going to happen with having them around? Well, the legend and the prophecy is that when all 13 come together, probably 2012, or pretty close to 2012, uh, at the end of the Mayan calendar, that uh, they will all come together. I was in Holland um, in 2006 for a worldwide conference, and there five of us got together. There were five keepers Ooh. that were at the conference. And so five of them have already come together. Wow. Uh, but we're looking forward to the day when we know where all 13 are. Maybe that will be come. here in 8-8. Eight, eight. Hopefully in Mount Shasta. Wow, uh, the, exciting. The crown. So I have brought the two. This is the first one. This is called El Eliador. Wow. And sometimes you can actually even see him grow. Um, Occasionally, they'll come up this high. It is impossible for this to happen. Mm. And this is Alzara. This is the feminine. So the two came at four years apart, designed to go together. I'll show you. And when they are together, it is the heart of a child. Wow. It's the heart of a child. They each have a complete brain. These have been tested and at the store, when you come in, you can see pictures and um, uh, the global assignment, Activate the Crystal Skulls, is actually my third book that is out. Uh, the books are available there and the transference of the energy is there also. The heart of innocence, the heart of purity, the heart of all beauty, the heart of a child. So this is what's come to Mount Shasta and what's brought me here. Very powerful. So, and I thank you for letting us show them to the people. I think it's important. Mm. When the Maya who were in Holland in 2006, when they saw this, they broke down and started crying. Because as you know, in the temples, um, they, they were always taking out the human heart and offering the heart to God. Um, what they had lost was the truth of the matter. And even in our scriptures, it said, in the last day, I will take away your stony heart mm. and give you a heart of flesh. So one day, these will disappear and they'll be gone. And humanity, the consciousness of humanity will have changed. Wow. And I can't wait for that day. Make me cry here already, girl. <laughs> All right. So, so what are you? What are you going to be doing here now that you're established and you you have some? Uh, okay. Um, I am taking I am taking apprentices at the uh, Shambhala Center. Okay. And um, it has been a wonderful experience for many people who have come here because people are now coming from all over the globe to see the heart. Yeah. And to receive the template within their hearts and within crystals that they have. Oh, wow. Now, do you have an, uh, a day that uh, you set aside for people to come in for, for healing? Um, I am usually Energy there work. on Saturdays, and they have, I have to say that there have been many miraculous healings, even through this. Mm -hmm. um, that uh, I am there for people, and we're going to be having monthly clinics now that'll be free to the public. Okay. There at Weed at 590 Main Street. 590 and Main people Street. People are welcome to come. And, and what day? Um, they'll be on Sunday afternoons. Sunday afternoons. From 12 to 4. 12 to 4 at the Mercantile. Yes. Or if you want to, if you want to do a healing, or if you want somebody to to do some energy work on you. Yes. Susan will be there. All right. Anything else? No, nope, that's it. All right. Well, welcome to Mount Shasta. Thank you. Blessings to you here, and we'll have you on again. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, now we have three ladies who are from COS. 
And they will be um, talking about their art work um, that they've been doing here at COS. Hello. Hello. Janet. Yes. Betty and Joy. Hello. All right. Now, you're students here at COS. Yes, we are students of Eloise Larson in the printmaking department. In the what? Make printmaking department. In printmaking. Yes. Oh. And um, you have a show going on at an artwork uh, studio around the corner from here, is it? Yes, we have a three-person show um, entitled Ink on Paper. Okay. And do uh, you have something to show us here? We do. We have <laughs> some of our work. Wow. Explain what yours is. All right. This is a, um, a three-color woodcut. Involves, uh, it involves carving three separate plates for each color before okay. you print them. And then you put it on there? And As you print? You print it on paper. Oh, that's gorgeous. And, and Betty? Um, this is titled Fungi, and it is an etching of a mushroom. Mm, or mushrooms. Mushroom. <laughs> well, we all like mushroom. Yeah. And, and, and Joy, what do you have? This is also a, a woodblock print of uh, irises. And it uh, looks like lilies? Iris. Or irises. Iris. Irises. Oh, very beautiful. So what class is it is that you're taking? Printmaking. And who's the instructor? The instructor is Eloise Larson. Okay, Eloise. You got your best students here. <laughs> That'll um, make her proud. They're going to get A's in their class. <laughs> All right? All right, ladies. Anything you want to say to the public? Uh, well, we would like to invite everyone to um, join us. And, um, on what days? The show um, is will be on until February the 29th. Okay. It's currently showing in the student gallery. Great. Monday and that's through Friday. In Building 2, Learning Center? Yes. In what room? Uh, By it's the, the telephone? It's, no. <laughs> it's the student gallery. <laughs> student the gallery. Library. Okay, student gallery. Right. All right. It's actually next door to us. Yes. Wow, that's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I really like those. What's our time? We got time here? Hey, um, do you like the sunshine? Oh, we love it. Sure. Oh, it's I wonderful. I love the sunshine. I am just in love with the sunshine. And um, I am tired of the snow. You are? <laughs> yeah. But I love the beauty of it. Well, we needed that snow. We oh, yeah. We definitely need it. Yeah. And gorgeous, gorgeous. Can I tell you? Uh, can I tell you that we have about 17 different uh, printmaking processes shown in our in our show? Oh, in the in your in studio. Our, yes. Wow. I I peeked in there and it looked like the walls just were covered with beauty. They are. There are about 40 pieces. 40 pieces in that little room. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! We'll have to go and really investigate fine print it. Yes, do stop so, by. What's our time left here? It's less than 30. Got 20. Hey, um, Jeremiah. Yes? Come on down. Let me get a skull out of my lap. <laughs> Can we exit? Jeremiah has something special for me today. Uh, we're going to listen to it. Oh, this is in celebration of your birthday? Yes, oh, okay. the surprise. Yeah. Come on over here. This way? Uh, this way. Hey, the little balloon. <laughs> Jeremiah, thank you for this unexpected journey. Hi. Now, I was told that you had something very special. For you. Oh, for me. Yeah, okay. you know, all this about um, new life, ascension, and about children, so got a song for you. Okay. It's an old song that was taught me by a Hotchmacopit River Indian named Makata, which is coyote. Coyote. And um, it's called Star Child. Star Child. It's from the stars we came to the stars we returned. Ooh, yes. Good birthday song. That would be. Yeah. 
So I just thought I'd share that with you. Well, I'm waiting. And um, Rex said, you got to do this. So, yeah. You, know, you got to listen to Rex. He's, yeah, he's, 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 he's a man with good, a plan. He's a good man. He's a good man. Yeah. All right. He's the percussionist. Ah, yes. that's what makes all his his uh, sounds. Yeah. Percussion. All right. Grandfather round, and this is where the blessing comes in. Okay. This is the grandfather's spirit round. Blessing free when you lift it from there, and it flows through your arms. Wow! It's like the hands get very hot, and I your body it. gets very hot. I feel and it. And the blessing flows for everything you've held inside here. So happy birthday! Happy birthday! Yeah. Ah, thank, thank you, you for very being the beautiful much. man you are. Oh, bless, blessings! Thank you for being here. All right. Uh, just a second. Hey. <laughs> Uh, where are we at here? That was uh, overwhelming. Hey, I really love that. That's uh, good for me. Uh, I, you know, because I come from Cherokee. 
And uh, from in Sacramento, we do a lot of sweat and a lot of powwow. There's no powwows up here. I'm very disappointed about that. But uh, Redding's the only one, September, the only powwow that I uh, ever can see. They have a powwow in Grants Pass. Grants spring Pass. Yeah. In springtime. Wow. Seems like we got a timber here coming. <laughs> hey, Trees powwow are. time. That's where I want to go. All right. Um, let me see. We got 15 more minutes. I think there was Malcolm. I want you to play some stuff for us, okay? Sure, Arthur. Come on down. Hey, and you told me that there was a couple of jokes that you had. You want to tell me the joke? I was told we were going to roast Arthur today. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Only if you must, though. He wants to roast us. Do you think I smell good? <laughs> Play some music. Well. Or what's that joke first? I don't, I'm, I'm just obviously not doing what I'm supposed to be doing because everybody's pointing me going. <laughs> I don't know what any of y'all mean. Just leave me alone, okay? So this is a Eurythmic song called Love is a Stranger, and Arthur, I know love's a stranger for you. Oh, that way for a while, you had to it? bring that up. You know, and, and you know, as per the lyrics in this song, I hear that you know you will accept love from anybody, even in an open car. Or, uh, you know, a lot of people are far away and leave. How many times have you been left, Arthur? What? How many times have you been left, driven far away and left far behind? Further behind? Four times. Just see your old guy.
good. Hey, you know, even though love is a stranger in my life, uh, Valentine's Day is when? 14th. The 14th. That means, ladies, you got a few more days to, to find me, uh, or give me a few more days to find you. Huh. Does that sound right? I think you've been found. Ah! I haven't been found yet. I'm still waiting. But hey, I have a free and clear pink slip, okay? <clears throat> hey, uh, how many more minutes we got? Okay. <laughs> hey, you know, is Kenji in here? I don't think so. No, he didn't. How about Alexander? Yes, I'm here. Hey, do you got that harmonica? Do you have a horn? No. <laughs> well, why don't you, okay. you? You do have something. What do you have? What do you have? You have a drum. There's another drum over there. Oh, yes. now you. Hey, why don't we? Everybody grab a little instrument or something. Oh. Here, you, you guys grab a little instrument, pass it around. And, and let's do a little drumming, a little <laughs> sound system here. Uh, I'll go with this. I'll do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You kids want a couple little things here? Grab it up, grab it up. All right, Rex, go for it. Well, let's see if we can get a... Uh... See what Malcolm's Malcolm, do you have something we can play with? with? I think that would be the most hey, you know, I, did I did I tell you guys how how young I am? How young are you, Arthur? I'm not gonna tell you. Oh come on! You gotta Arthur. count the balloons. Oh, ah! you, you don't look a day over sixty. Hey. I don't resemble that at all. Oh, come on, Arthur. Tell us the truth. Uh, they're looking at you, not me. <laughs> 39. 39. Oh, Again? that party was a long time ago. Uh, are you over there? Alex? Yes, I'm here. Are you going to do something? Well, I'm a company. What do you want okay. To do? Okay. <laughs> Malcolm, you got something? I can. I okay. Guess. Start it out. We'll rattle with you. Thank you. 
Awesome. All right, what do we got? Three more minutes. Hey, I want to thank everybody for being here. It's not every day I have a birthday, but when I have it, I like to have people come and play with me. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, thank you Rex. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you, Malcolm. Thank you, Arthur. And you're going to be playing some more after the, after the show here. Hey, uh, we're going to do uh, the last little video. Um, I got a few moments here. It's just going to be a few, take a few moments. Uh, do the uh, Mount Shasta, and then uh, the mask will be the end of it. And I want to say that this has been really, really nice. Thank you for everybody showing up. There's some goodies here. Uh, if you can't all eat it, well, we'll try. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Thank you. Can't find the prettiest guy. Uh, well, no spanking, okay? Hey, happy birthday, birthday to me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Arthur. All right, you guys. <laughs>